Hey, so either curiosity or your intuition or perhaps a synchronicity had you click on this video, whatever it was, I'm glad you're here. Um, I want to give you a heads up that I'm going to be having an amazing conversation with writer Anthony Peake. Now, Anthony Peake, he's penned over 11 books. I think he's working on his 12th book now, and he focuses on the fields of human consciousness and spanning from death to the out-of-body experience. He's even penned a book on Philip K. Dick, which is amazing. amazing. I'm a huge fan. And I wanted to just give you a heads up because on Facebook on tomorrow, which is the, the 11th of August, I'm going to be joining with Anthony Peake on a, um, a live call. If you're not on Facebook, not to worry. This is also going to be on YouTube as well, um, posted tomorrow night as well. So you can catch in on that. Now, I have a really interesting way in which I met Anthony. And I know it sounds really mad, but I first met Anthony Peake in a lucid dream. So I had no um, prior meeting of him uh, in real life, uh, but I had uh, a lucid dream experience where he was a dream character that, that triggered me into lucidity. And if you want to hear more about that, you can, you can click on the... Um, the little link here uh, that, that takes you to the video of where I describe my experience. The next day after that dream, I had a synchronistic uh, event when I was, you know, just sort of scrolling through Instagram and I saw an image of a man that was posted by someone I know in the dream scene. And the man, I was like, that's, that's the dream character from my lucid dream. And it was in fact, was in fact Anthony Peake. And so I was really like, so amazed at this cool synchronicity that I shared about it and, and tagged him and posted about it. Well, since then we've, we've been in contact and, um, and so that's how we met. <laughs> so we met and it was a dream. And since then I've, I've read three of his books. Um, one book uh, is there Life After Death, which, which is a great book, by the way. Amazing theory of what happens beyond the grave. So check it out. Anthony's really, really, really interesting because he really brings in a lot of science and data into his books, into his theories. So, you know, this is good. This is good. He really does the, uh, the science behind a lot of consciousness exploration. I also read his book, The Out of Body Experience as well. Fantastic, again, lots of science there too, which is good. It's important to be you know, collecting the data on all of these experiences. Um, this is how we move forward with understanding them a little bit more. So that's a really cool book. And then his final book, uh, the latest one is The Hidden Universe, an investigation into non-human intelligences. So this is a recent book, and in fact, I went to the book signing in London not too long ago, and I got to meet Anthony in real life. <laughs> so that was a really cool, uh, you know, experience because, you know, I had met him in a lucid dream. So he kindly signed my book as well, so I really enjoyed reading The Hidden Universe on uh, lockdown. And uh, again, lots of great you know, science and case studies linked in with people's experiences all through time and all through history on non-human intelligences. So we're talking everything from elves to pixies uh, to aliens. So a very interesting read as well. As well. So I hope that sort of paints the picture of where we could go with our conversation everywhere and anywhere. It's sort of like limitless and, and you know, there's a lot of possibilities to what we will be discussing. It might be something that you might want to tune into because it could be, you know, it's one of those moments where, you know, you, you just, let's just talk. Let's just talk what if and let's just talk possibilities. And I feel like we don't really get a lot of chances to do that. Um, we're, we're, we're really busy just stuck in with our routines and our schedules 
Um, you know, when we're, we come home, we're tired. Perhaps we just want to watch TV or Netflix series just to unwind and just, you know, just to turn off. And we don't engage in these like big questions and ideas and thoughts and explore and talk possibilities, talk um, experiences that are unusual. And I'm sure we're going to be talking about a lot of that, especially like if our, our own friendship that's formed, which has come through, <laughs> through in a lucid dream, which I should mention as well, he's come through in a lot of other uh, lucid dreams and also false awakenings. And he, he's really quite, it's quite funny because Anthony always comes in into my dreams or false awakenings or lucid dreams with riddles. So he's almost like a trickster, like riddles and, and clues. And I have to solve these problems in my dreams. So it, it, it's been really good fun to say the least. So some of the things um, that we're gonna touch upon in our conversation are gonna range anything from uh, the Big Bang, how it all began and consciousness and how does consciousness and dreaming pertain to even just like creation itself. We're also gonna just talk about what the hell is this? Who are we? What is consciousness in itself? Um, how does it pertain to dream states or altered states of consciousness too? Uh, we're also going to talk about, you know, the concept of the multiverse and where do dreams fit in to the multiverse? Perhaps dreams are just one layer of the multiverse. We're also going to talk about uh, the out-of-body experience, the, the astral plane, and the physics there. Is there a science? in that realm is there a physics a law of physics and um we'll be talking about personal situations and observations of out of body states and what's going on and how it works very differently we're also going to talk about precognition one of my favorite topics um and is this something that's innate to human beings is this something that we can develop so precognition also covers um i guess you could call it psychic dreaming or having um a knowing before an event and another conversation that we'll be bringing into the discussion is the topic of plant consciousness and one of my favorite things too as i love working with plants and so we'll bring that into the discussion as well i hope you can join if you can't join on facebook i'll, I'll put the link below if you're not able to join this will be available on youtube anyway and i'll be shouting about it so you can, you can uh, tune in that way as well. I, I hope this synchronicity, it serves you well, and I look forward to bringing this discussion into your sphere. Until then.